Hello, people of the internet. So here we have my Huawei P7. I mean, you can't really see it, you see the screen of it. But that's not important. What's important is it, that it is running Android Lollipop 5.1.1. As you can see here, it is running Android version 5.1.1. Hello, and yep, lollipop. So this is not really a review, this is somewhat of a hands-on, some, some of my first impressions. I'm, I just recently installed it about an hour ago, and I have spent some time with it. So here are my first impressions. First of all, the performance. You can't really notice that while recording, but I honestly, I have noticed a huge boost in performance uh, since the update. Uh, not gaming performance, gaming performance on this phone is I have to say quite good, but in general the UI performance is hugely improved. Second of all, there are some minor things that really that I really like. For example, the notifications re look really really nice compared to how it used to look. This is beautiful. The old one, if you don't know, it was just like a white background, and it was just ugly. It was ugly, but now it looks really, really pretty. You have all your shortcuts, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, whatsoever. And here you have your notifications. Uh, I'm using the stock Google Now launcher because it is, in my opinion, much better than the Huawei stock launcher. But I have tried it, and it's I didn't notice anyth anything to worth mentioning. It looks pretty much the same as it used as, as it used to look. Also, the settings look much better. Uh, you have your general tab, some general uh, settings, and all settings. You have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, screen lock, etc., etc. Another thing I want to mention is the camera app. Now I have to say that the previous version of this camera app was okay. I don't, didn't have any uh, difficulties with it, but this one's just a bit better, a bit better looking. Here we have your beauty, your photos, video, and what's new? Time lapse, which I yet to try. And the settings you have pretty much what it used to, what it used to have, but with really nice animations. I have to say, the animations throughout the, the OS are super smooth, and I really like them. So you can here set your slush. Hello. Oh, yes, it's set on time lapse. Hold on just a minute. Let's set on video. Okay, our settings. So we have your resolution. Let's set full HD, internal, external storage, GPS tag, new, I don't want that. Object tracking, stabilizer, whatsoever. So many different options. Same goes for the. For pictures, nothing new. The only thing I don't really like is it's a bit too simple. I mean, I had a Lumia for a very long time, and in my opinion, the Lumia camera app is perfect. In my opinion, all of well, are almost perfect. There are a few things that I would like to add. Other things to mention? Not much, I have to say. That's let me try there. No, that's not that. The stock clock application did change. No, they did not change the app. It looks pretty much actually, it looks the same, all but the uh, background is transparent and you can see the wallpaper, which is really nice. Uh, other things to mention? Not much. Yes. Uh, as you can see, the stock screen recorder is working perfectly. I'm using the built-in screen recorder that came with Lollipop. Uh, I have no difficulties with it. What would I like to improve over the KitKat? The phone tends to overheat. It overheats so much the CPU has traveled down to prevent itself from overheating. The performance are solved. Uh, on the KitKat version, it did tend to stutter in the UI, it dropped frames really, really bad. As far as the update itself, it went pretty smooth. Um, I did not get this uh, via OTA update over the air, 
I downloaded the uh, zip file of the update and I copy it to the to the phone uh, I do have to say it didn't went flawless I mean the update itself did but copying the uh, zip file didn't see there are there uh, you have to put the zip file in the load folder the load underscore OTA but I guess it's access denied I can't copy anything to that folder so I had to create my own the load folder and I just copied the uh, zip there and install it as you can see it is, I think delete it um, this again this is not a full, full review this is just my first impressions and uh, hands on I will be doing a full review maybe honestly if I have any time I'll just check the music app it didn't change at all no looks pretty much I said yes changed yes hmm changed yes but not really special nothing really special again I will be doing a full review when I get some free time probably maybe this Wednesday I will give it uh, for example I would like to try the general try the performance a bit more that's the battery life uh, I mean for for me the battery life on KitKat was okay I can get I was able to get a full day on, on average use and that's pretty much it. Again, the update went. I took about 20 minutes to finish the update. That I did not have any problems. I will leave a link for if you want to download the zip for the updates. And that is pretty much it. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go Dancing! on that like and subscribe button. And I will be seeing you. Peace.